Hey everyone, it's Michelle with Dreaming Dilettante and I am coming out to you with another Plan With Me video and what I'm doing in today's video is setting up my habit trackers and my daily um, routines to go into my weekly planner. So I did this last week and unfortunately I'd been sick all this past week so um, I really didn't get to do any of the stuff that I had planned. But you know that's part of life and we just kind of roll with it and um, thankfully I'm feeling much much better. So I wanted to kind of go into this next week gently, realistically, um, and come up with some habits, new things that I wanted to add to my schedule for this week and make sure that I'm continuing um, from the previous weeks. So I have my um, my routine time block. Um, if you watched last week's planning video, you can see that I did that. And then I did make a note here. So this is my habit tracker. And obviously I didn't get much done of the things that I want to do. But I thought it might be fun to kind of reevaluate with you and uh, kind of go through my thought process. So looking at my habit tracker, I'm going to go through and just kind of reevaluate all the things that are on here, make sure these are things that I still want to try to do coming going forward into the new week, and also maybe some things that have to wait until next week or going forward. So, and then if that, anything that I'm not going to carry over for this particular week, but that I want to do, um, but I, I don't want to like kind of completely forget about, I'm going to make a separate list for, because I want to look at my calendar, I have my planner right here, so I want to look at my plans, the things I have going on this week, and then realistically plan the habits that I'm going to be doing for um, this coming week. And I think I shared with you in the last video too, my goal is for this to be very hands-on, which is why I didn't make a printable of it or anything like that, because I really want to be focusing on putting things on here not just to fill time or not just to have a bunch of things I can check off, but things that are really um, applying to my life and that are going to enhance it and, and, and make things better. So and, and go with what I am focusing on and what's important to me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to start um, copying things over and then I'll share with you a little bit about my thoughts in that. So I pretty much carried over most of the things, and there's a few things that I'm going to be adding back in down the road. Um, one of the things that I wanted to um, take in is because I hadn't been feeling well, I wasn't doing the walking or the stretching. So I'm just going to add one of those in for this week, get that habit going, and then I can add to that from there. And then for um, some work that I wanted to do for my study. Um, I'm going to wait on doing that going forward and kind of get some of these other routines that are important to me as well. Um, one of the things I took off, I kept on writing, but I let, I took off editing for this week because I hadn't started writing yet. I want to get back into the habit of it. I haven't been into it for a little bit, so I want to get back into that habit of daily writing. And so focusing on that and then I can bring the editing in once I have the writing habit um, is something I'm going to do. And then there was something else here is just promoting my content. And since I already have that on my to-do list, I don't feel like I need to have that as a habit tracker. So I'm just going to be removing that entirely. But then this is what I'm going to be working towards for this week. The things that I want to continue doing that are important to me um, and things that had been on the list. But it's just I think it's important when I rewrite them each time, it's almost like I'm recommitting to them. Um, like I'm doing the 20-minute decluttering. Um, I've been keeping up with that. But at the same time, I may find that I get through some of the big things and I can move that off of my list for a little bit and take that 20 minutes and allocate it to something else um, for a few weeks or things like that. So that's kind of why I want to do it this way versus, you know, just making it once and then printing it off each week. So the next thing I'm going to look at is my daily routine. And my routine has kind of been a big mess, um, as I said, with not being feeling well and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to spend a little time um, looking at the things that I want to do that are on my habit tracker, um, knowing how my days kind of tend to flow.
Okay, so I think I worked out um, how I want to kind of block out my days, my, my time for each day. And there's one thing I decided I want to add here, and that is um, a bedtime, which I'm really bad at. Um, so yeah, I'm going to work on going to getting into bed at a certain time and then doing a few things that I like to do to kind of unwind at night and then um, hopefully going to sleep or at least, you know, laying down trying to go to sleep by a certain time. So that is my new habit tracker and my daily routine. I'm actually really happy too with the Crayola markers because they're not bleeding through on the paper, which is nice. I wasn't sure if they were going to or not. So I'm going to add that to, I'm going to add last week's into my um, notebook here where I'm kind of keeping my past habit trackers and daily routines. I thought it might be helpful to kind of see, especially because this is, you know, the start of a new year, to see how, like, you could see how rig rigorous I started out and then like, okay, well, let me come up with something a little more gentle and um, <laughs> still holding everything um, that is important to me, but maybe learning to be a little bit more realistic with my time. So I'm going to put this aside. Oh, and you know what else I want to do? And I want to just double check with my 2024 goals um, and make sure that I'm making time for these things um, in my uh, daily planner and things like that. Um, and one of the things I think I'm going to rethink is how um, the family goals here, because I think there's different ways that we would benefit from time with each other. So I think I'm going to um, move this and kind of revisit how I'm going to um, my family goals. I think that's something that I want to revisit because this was one that I just filled in from um, a video that I had seen and I'm not sure that it's something that f is necessarily my goal, let's put it that way. Um, so I'm just taking a look to you know, daily creativity, um, different things, the food I've been doing. I've actually been thinking about meal planning. I'm terrible at it. Um, I tend to just kind of figure out what I want to have each day, but it might be something that I want to think about a little bit or at least um, planning for meals for the whole week and then maybe just having, it doesn't matter if I make this on Monday or make this on Thursday, um, but just having, you know, seven meals laid out for the week might be helpful. And I'm just looking, yeah, so everything that I have on here and I'm going to spend some time rethinking the family goals and I'm going to come back to that but for now I think I can take these and put this in my planner for next week I didn't do anything crazy interestingly enough I was using my um, bookish I think is the sticker pad which I apparently put somewhere now um, yeah, that I just decorated a few little things for the week um, carried over the filming and things that I wasn't able to get uploaded last week to this week to do and I'm teaching a class this week um, so I'm going to make sure that I prep for that. Yeah, so I'm going to put all this stuff in here. And then I have my to-do list. And I'm ready to go. So I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about how I'm doing this or any of the products that I'm using, please do feel free to um, leave a question down below and I'll be sure to answer. Um, you can also be sure to click on the description and I have a link to an accompanying blog post which will give you a little bit more information. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.